Well, we made it, folks. The final week of the 2023 spring sports season, and it has been a pretty exciting one. Next week, we'll know exactly which of Watertown High School's teams will be competing in tournament action. But we know the one who definitely will be, and that is the Watertown High School baseball team, who won their 10th game earlier this week. They had to get to that magic number of 10 in order to get into the playoffs. After a season with three walk-off wins and multiple other narrow one-run victories, the Raiders found themselves having to get to 10 games in order to qualify for the playoffs. So in Watertown's last game of the season at Victory Field on Monday, they defeated St. Joseph's Prep 10 to nothing to clinch a spot in a play-in game. Owen Newland was the winning pitcher and led the Raiders with two hits. Casey Williams drove in three, while Johnny Kikachi and Connor Jones each scored a pair of runs. After the game, play-by-play -play announcer Jim Vershbaugh spoke with head coach Aaron Manukian to reflect on the season and look ahead to the playoffs. All right, we're here after Watertown gets their 10th win of the season here at Victory Field with a 10-0 win over St. Joe's. Uh, coach Manukian, how do you feel? We feel pretty good. Um, we're definitely slumping a little bit. I mean, getting in doesn't feel bad. Um, so we're happy to be in. I mean, we told the guys before the game, if we don't win today, our season's over now. If you're a senior, you're done playing high school baseball. You're not playing with these guys again. So I, I do think they responded. So it's good to kind of come back and, and, and find ourselves a little bit today. And so when does the tournament start to your understanding? Uh, it'll be June 2nd and 3rd is the first round. So we assume we're going to play that preliminary round. Uh, I believe graduation's June 2nd. So it looks like we'll play the third, Saturday, June 3rd. Well, let's just talk real quick about the season. Uh, you've had a lot of really nice wins. Do you have a, a highlight moment f for you? It's hard to say. I mean, we, we've had some really exciting games. Senior night um, against Wilmington, even though that wasn't a walk-off win, it was a one nothing win that we really needed. I mean, looking back on it now, if we didn't win that game and their pitcher was really giving us a hard time, if we lose that game, we're not in the playoffs right now. Um, so it's nice that we made the playoffs today, but... That Wilmington game with, I don't know, 250 people here, whatever it is, baseball baseball games, you don't see crowds like that at baseball games. And we've been pulling fans this season, which has been unbelievable. But seeing that crowd of 250 and having friends that I know that live over by the high school saying that they heard the crowd, that's usually football. So for us to have like a football, like a crowd, that was pretty cool. Watertown's girls lacrosse team is likely heading to the postseason. The Raiders split a pair of games this past week to get to 8-10. and 10. At the time of last week's power rankings, they were ranked 20th in Division 4, and the top 32 automatically qualify, which means that the softball team, 41st in last week's Division 3 power rankings, are on the outside looking in right now, but they did win their last two games by a combined 11 runs. So we'll see if the Raiders team, now 7 and 13, are able to get into the playoffs. The brackets for softball, lacrosse, and baseball will all be released next Wednesday, May 31st. So be sure to tune in right here on Watertown Cable News next Thursday, June 1st, to find out when and where all of Watertown High School's spring sports teams will be playing in the tournament. That does it for this week in sports. I'm going to send it back over to Jim and Maya to finish out tonight's broadcast. Take it away.